You can't talk about the early days of gaming on YouTube without bringing up KYR Speedy and the crew. They had such a fun and unique style with their videos, you could tell they were just all about hanging out and having a great time, whether they were wrecking chaos in GTA, dominating at CSGO and COD, or having wild adventures in games like Golf With Your Friends. They were insanely good at every game they played, and whilst that hasn't exactly changed, most members of the crew have dropped off the radar lately without an explanation. This has left fans wondering what happened to the crew. Well, we did some digging and are here with the answers. So sit back as we get into the reasons behind their disappearance. The crew started off as a group of YouTubers who connected to play games such as GTA, CSGO, Call of Duty, and Among Us. The crew was formed by the top gaming creator, KYR Speedy. Speedy is often the one who endearingly attempts to control the group, although he rarely succeeds. Recently, Speedy's latest video game series has been going viral and trending all over YouTube. The series, which is titled Fall Guys, has showcased his amazing content creation and editing skills and and has reminded fans why they subscribed to his channel in the first place. His Best of the Crew compilations that he posted of the series have amassed well over 100,000 for each release. But unfortunately, this move hasn't really translated to new subscribers on his new channel. And it's no secret that in recent years, Speedy has been struggling to grow his channel. His viewership mainly comprises of those who followed him at the peak of his fame and his loyal subscribers. However, things weren't always this way. Back in the early days, Speedy WO3, which is his primary YouTube channel, grossed a massive subscriber base of 6.2 million in just a few years. And over the course of time, the numbers kept growing as Speedy maintained an impressive level of activity and consistently released at least one video per month. This was around the time Speedy began making connections with other gamers and established his crew. He brought in skilled gamers such as Hova, Nobody Epic, Deluxe 4, Deluxe 20, Sidearms, G18, Shadow, and Legion. This caused his YouTube channel to thrive, and it significantly increased both his views and subscriber count, which was a very huge deal back then. The crew's delivery of high-quality entertaining gaming content meant Speedy was consistently getting views ranging from a modest 10,000 to an impressive 100,000. The content on the Speedy W03 channel consisted of various games, including Among Us, Battleship, South Park, and entries from the Grand Theft Auto series like the GTA Trilogy. And when GTA 5 experienced a huge popularity boost, Speedy made a few videos dedicated to it. However, things started to go downhill once he started a second channel. KYR Speedy. His content style on this channel changed to compilations of his live streams alongside some additional content that was very different from the compilation style of his main channel. This caused a huge decrease in views, which also affected his main channel. Viewers expressed that they had already seen these moments during his live streams, and Speedy wasn't being creative enough to create other content. The discontent led to a steady decrease in both his view count and subscribers, but KYR Speedy did didn't fall off alone. Other members of his crew fell off with him. Jehovah's Witness, or Hova, who is the second most known member of the crew, has also fallen off. He was initially a very huge name on YouTube, known for his enthusiastic and spirited content, which he posted on a fairly consistent basis. But recently, his channel seems to be a ghost town of what it once was. Hova's main channel hasn't experienced any significant rise in popularity since 2021. The view counts on his videos moved from 100,000 to some barely reaching a couple thousand views. This became an even bigger problem when he reduced the frequency of uploads. Hova tried to make a comeback towards the end of 2021 with Halo Infinite content in an attempt to regain popularity. Unfortunately, the views continued to dwindle despite his best efforts. This declining popularity extended to Nobody Epic's YouTube channel, which barely gets any views these days. It's been a full two years since he last uploaded a video on his main and side channels.
The only current traces of nobody epic in the online world are just tweets he posts irregularly. Even when he posts, his tweets feature content such as discussions about sports, including football and basketball, and absolutely nothing about gaming. But the reason behind his long absence is quite relatable. He recently opened up about starting a family, and naturally that led to his irregular appearance on YouTube. But unlikely, nobody epic G18 disappeared from the YouTube scene without an explanation. His last upload was a year ago, and nobody understands why he went on hiatus. However, in an interesting twist of events, G18's YouTube channel has continued to receive views despite the absence of recent uploads. Some of his older videos have experienced an uptick in views, which which proved that his content created during his prime were enduring classics. His final YouTube upload from a year ago featured modern warfare and has garnered around 40,000 views. Prior to this, he primarily focused on modern warfare content, capitalizing on the game's popularity during that period. Nevertheless, despite the dwindling popularity of many members, some members of the crew have still managed to stay relevant on the YouTube scene. Deluxe 4, who was the fourth member to join the crew, has been incredibly active on his YouTube channel, uploading new videos nearly every day and sometimes even multiple times a day. His content is different from that of the other members as he focuses mainly on Grand Theft Auto. Deluxe 4 has also embraced YouTube Shorts, a feature that allows for shorter video content and he racks in a couple of thousand views daily on his shorts. Sidearms has also maintained a relatively active YouTube presence, uploading content nearly every day, or at least a couple of times a week. His content primarily revolves around Among Us and Minecraft games that resonate with both him and his audience. The Crew Craft series has been performing exceptionally well on his channel, and during the surge in popularity of Squid Game, Sidearms and his friends delved into a crab game content, capitalizing on the excitement surrounding the show's release. His ability to make content with trending topics has led his steady increase in viewership, which has moved from garnering 10,000 views to 20,000 views and is steadily increasing. Despite the personal ventures of these members, there's been a curiosity among their audience regarding the split involving Hova, Nobody Epic, and other members of the group who aren't active anymore. And the reason for the split involved little to no drama. Most members, like Nobody Epic, now have families and children and so chose to distance themselves because they could no longer keep up with the late-night gaming sessions that the crew was known for. Hova himself also gave reasons that participate in late night sessions became impossible for him because of his growing responsibilities. However, members of the crew have still remained friends and there are no negative feelings among the group members. In fact, the members often remind the audience that the crew as a whole played an integral role in shaping each member's identity and success, and none of them would have achieved their current status without the collective support of the crew. Now, whilst their YouTube reach may have decreased, their there's been positive growth for the crew on other platforms. Currently, members like Sidearms, Speedy, D20, G18, Deluxe 4, Shadow, and Legion have been very active on their Twitch streaming channels. Speedy has an impressive following of 700,000 and typically gets up to 90,000 views on his videos. D20 has a following of about 110,000 with a very high viewing count on his videos. Nobody Epic made a move to Facebook Gaming about a year and a half to two years ago ago, but hasn't streamed in over a year. Hova also has been less active on Twitch, but he has managed to maintain a dedicated side channel known as Hoverflip, which has been outperforming his main channel in terms of both views and consistency. Overall, despite their different ventures and split, right now the crew continues to maintain their lively friendship both in gaming and reality. So what do you think about the fall of the crew? Does the fact that they naturally drifted apart due to personal life issues make you feel better about their disappearance? Let us know in the comments below.